Hello YouTube, this video is part of a demonstration that's really meant to be interactive and you can see the interactive version of it by going to this web page. Okay, you want to see the non-interactive version? Here we go. Zika virus has a very weird pattern on it and it's part of a group of viruses that all have subtly related patterns on them. They have to be understood using this model, and you can try it out now. Now what you're seeing here may not seem very much like a virus at all, and so we're going to take a close look at this virus called HPV, a very nasty virus which is known to sometimes cause cancer. So, if we take this X-ray of HPV and we turn up the contrast on it, then we get a bunch of black blobs. And it just so happens that those black blobs are all of HPV's proteins. Now proteins are sometimes connected to one another, and so we're going to draw lines between those proteins that have a connection. And this gets us something that can be made in the model. And so now, if you feel like challenging yourself, you can try constructing HPV. So this model has only been developed in the last few years. However, the patterns that it's made of were discovered at least 800 years ago by medieval Islamic artists. Now, you might be aware that mosques are covered with patterns. If you study them, you usually find out that they're based on the fundamental square or triangle-based patterns. However, if we look here at the Darabi Imam shrine in Iran, then we have something rather more special. Here's a pattern that's just above its left entrance, and here's another one from just inside. And these patterns are not based on triangles or on squares, but on pentagons. Now, pentagons are an extremely unusual thing to see in any pattern, because they don't fit together with one another like other shapes do. You can put extra little shapes in their gaps and maybe get a pattern like this one, but that isn't very pleasing to the eye because it doesn't have very much symmetry. The shapes in the shrines patterns are very carefully designed and then arranged to create pentagonal symmetry wherever possible. Now it takes deep mathematical knowledge to do that. And it's not a surprise that it was first done by Muslims because in Muslim culture, they know what a profound and powerful thing a pattern can be. Try playing around with the model again and you'll find that everything it can create will have some amount of resemblance to this pattern, which comes from the shrine's patterns. So why do viruses use these patterns? Well, let's look at HPV again. And let's say that one day we develop a drug that can attack HPV, which would be a wonderful thing. But HPV can evolve. And if HPV evolves to get a little bit smaller, 
and the drug isn't very good, then the drug might lose effectiveness. And HPV has the option of evolving to lots of different states because these shapes come together in multiple ways that create lots of symmetry. The pattern that I want to leave you with in it is this one, because this is the pattern of proteins that we get when we look at Zika virus.